everyone, this is Gail Julie Makes. I hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to do a quick tutorial on the image transfer technique today. So I've got my gel press 8x10 plate. I've got Vogue magazine, which always works well for me. And I'm using Liquitex Payne's Grey acrylic, which is my favourite to use for this process. Now I'll pick this picture because I think it's uh, going to turn out well. It's, it's quite high contrast. You've got the blacks and the whites. I do feel like it's a little bit hemmed in, which is what I'm pointing out here. So what I'll probably do is once it's on the plate, I will actually kind of embellish around it before I actually pull just to, you know, add more layers and detract from that very sort of square picture. Now I'm adding my Payne's Grey. Um, this is quite a tricky bit to explain, obviously, because, you know, this is where you can, it can work or it can't. So you want to layer... Um, a layer of acrylic that isn't too thick but that also isn't too thin so what I'm doing is you know if, if I can see the plate through it too much then um, it's going to be too thin so I want to be I want it to be sort of semi-opaque so I'm just adding a little bit more here just because I feel like certain areas are a bit too light compared to others and you don't want any sort of line marks from your brayer so you want it to be quite smooth as well so just keep braying it until you get that effect now I'm just cleaning off my brayer, obviously, and then I'm going to go in with the print from the magazine. Oh, decided here to just go in with a nail brush just to sort of break up those edges a little bit more and give it a more painterly effect. And then I'm just going to lay the picture down. Obviously check, you know, when you're laying it, what areas you've got in there, you don't want to be missing part of the picture. So that's another element to think about. And again, I'm giving it... Um, a fairly light rub if you do it too hard it might not work if you do it too lightly it might not work so it's that it's getting that happy medium and it's really just about practicing guys um there's a few air bubbles in here but i'm not too worried but i would recommend because i know vogue works and because i know this acrylic works for me maybe try those and just keep experimenting till it works so this is the best part getting to do the pull and um it's come out really well actually i'm really pleased with this one so We'll see what we can do with it next. See her face pretty clearly there, so that's come out well. Now what I would do with this, and also this will help let it dry, is I would, because I don't want that quite so much want that square effect, I would go in and start adding other things. So let me just get my tray. A tray full of things I can. Um, this is like a soft mould, but I tend to use it to get text onto things. I've got embossing plates which I use just with inks and things I've got doilies that I would use so um, stamps would work as well some stamps in here uh, you know it's just all sorts really so we could use a bit of this text for example and what I tend to do is so we're going to have to reverse it because if you can see it's running that way as text at the minute we're going to have to reverse it um, can't lay it down like that because when we pull the print's going to be the opposite way around so if I reverse it I'll just show you me inking it up so I tend to use Versifying Claire for this job because that is um, like a permanent pigment ink and I think I'm going to use Medieval Blue so what I would do is I would ink up, so we're going to have to lay it, yeah, if we lay it that way so it's back to front. So if I ink up this look, like this, so you can see, you can see the text is being picked up. Now I'm not, not too worried if it's not all on there perfectly, and then I can just start laying, so this is a Stamperia soft mould, I can just start laying that down. Maybe go from there, press it on to the plate. The Versifying Clay won't damage your plate either, by the way. And there you go, we've got some text appearing. Um, we can maybe have a little bit more just in this corner down here. Don't want too much. So that's already kind of, you know, given us something that breaks up that square a little bit. One thing I did want to try actually was gloss spray on here as well. So what I will do, alcohol inks work really well as well. 
if I just get, let me just get these boilers actually. So I've got these small packs of boilers. Um, and then what we can do, find some that are quite open, like that mountain. Mm, they might look a bit cheesy. Mm, maybe we'll have this one up here, part of it. And maybe we'll have another one just down here. Okay, and then what I wanted to try was just the um, the need to see the Wakely gloss spray through this. So we'll see, we'll see how that looks. I mean, it will bead up a little bit. Yeah, that's quite nice. So that is probably going to take quite a while to dry, but it can give us a nice sort of sheen to it. What I would probably do is just pat that down because I'm very impatient. So maybe if I just do a bit of that, I know it's going to lose some of it, but okay. So we've got that on there at the moment. So nice embossing folder. You might just about be able to see that. Some nice flowers. And what I'm going to do this time is go in. I kind of want to keep it the same sort of tone, so maybe I'll go in with the warm breeze. I don't really want to kind of get red involved. And again, we're just going to kind of go over. Actually, that's the one that isn't raised. So forget that side. Let's do this size because this is raised. So this is going to be the side that, you know, the, the flower actually really stands out. It's almost like a stencil in a mask. So what I can do, I'm not happy with that bit there. So I'm just going to try and get this bit in. And I'm just going to basically pop that there over the top of the text. Just press it down a little bit. Pull it off and we've got that. So we're kind of starting to get new natural lines that detract from that line that goes all the way around. So let's go for another one. And again, I'm going to ignore as much as I can that bit there but you know you can sort of angle where you put the pressure and everything so it's it's not too tricky so let's go from about here there we go sorry camera <laughs> so i've got a little bit in there so what i'm probably going to do is just dab that away with my finger because i don't really want that in there so much so you can see how we're starting to sort of build up the actual print now. Now what I can do as well is I can get some colour in there. So I can, um, I said I wanted to sort of keep those tones, but I might bring a bit of purple in there. I can use my, you could use fluid acrylic for this, you could use alcohol ink. I'm going to use my, um, I keep forgetting to put lids on things. I'm going to use my Versafine Claire again, I think. Oh, that's one of my favourites to use. This is one of my all-time favourite embossing folders to use with the lines. Might have to get that one in as well. Tell you what, let's get a bit of this in with a purple. So again, I'm feeling for the raised area. And get an ink all over my fingers. Oh. And there we go, we're just going to use part of that. So maybe, maybe we'll just have it there. As if it's something she's wearing. Again. Sorry, I'm not doing that properly on camera now. So I'm just literally dabbing it. You could do this more carefully than I am. I'm just rushing it really, but you know. There we go. And then maybe a little bit there like that. And then if you're not happy with how that looks, then you can just dab away at certain areas to sort of blend it in a little bit more if it just looks a bit too angular you can just dab away there we go um, and then I think probably I will bring some detail in at the bottom as well just to hide that a little bit more so let's see what else we've got I think I'm going to get rid of that gloss spray because I don't think that's ever going to dry or it's going to certainly take a long time so I'm going to damp that down a little bit 
and then okay so I've got these little sponge daubers that I use sometimes so I think I will go for um, let's go for the purple again and all we're going to do is just go through the doily with the door back that sort of effect there so I'm just going to whiz this on a little bit now and add some music for you because I think you've pretty much seen the process of what I'm doing for this particular part I will catch up with you a little bit later when I do add some extra bits in and there is at the end of the video if you watch the whole thing through there is another pull that I do at the end uh, which is also a really nice one and uh, just a basic one so we haven't got all the embellishments so I hope you continue to enjoy this bit and I'll catch up with you in a moment Right, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'd say that isn't pretty much dry. I'm just going to, like I say, dab it down. Try not to get your paper towel stuck in it. It's definitely dry if it's doing that. Yeah, we're dry. So what I'm going to do is lay down some of my buff Dina Wakeley. Now, I was tempted to use like a, a sort of bronzish one for this one, but again, I wasn't brave enough for this stage, not quite brave enough today. So I'm just going to pull this down over it. You can see some of that alcohol ink is showing through, so that's not completely dry. But I've kind of committed now, so we're hoping it won't affect the lady's face too much, yeah? So let's just roll that off, get that excess colour off. Let's see if we can get her face done first before the rest of it. And we've got quite a lot of paint here. So we're definitely going to be getting a lot of that off. So it's way too thick at the moment. Just give them a lot of that excess. Tiny bit more, just see her through there. Biscuit for a biscuit, right? So, this is multifarious card by Lavinia Stamps, um, and this is I think 300 and so 320 or 330 GSM. I can't remember now. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to dry for a couple of minutes just while because the card's a bit thicker, it can take that. And I'm just going to get some of my stuff sorted out. So it's probably getting to the stage where it's about dry now. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is the bit that I kind of love but also hate at the same time. Because if it hasn't turned out, then... ah. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a brayer. Oh, 
and we'll see what happens. See what happens. Oh, I think we might have a good pull. Definitely of the inks anyway. I'm not sure how she's turning out at the moment. I can't quite see her. Right, there's a little bit there that's... Um, so this bit here is starting to, to tear. So I'm just going to pull it from the top now instead. So if you see that happening, go for another corner. And because it's thick, look... It's got that give, hasn't it? You know, it's if this was thinner paper, it would not do this. Okay. If this was thinner paper, you'd just have lost it by now. There we go. Okay. So, we have got that. Still got a bit of that frame. So, but you can carry on working on it now, can't you, you know? So... Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that one. Let's have a look at her. So she's turned out pretty nicely, which was the main goal, wasn't it? Getting her on there. But I just love the way... I mean, look at this area here. That is absolutely beautiful. So those inks, you know, really lend themselves well to this. I'm liking the, alcohol, the way the alcohol inks have um, come out as well. Obviously, totally different colour to what I thought on here. The Valencia comes out quite red, but that's fine. Got a little bit of text at the bottom there. Yeah, so I'm liking that one. What I'd probably do is... Uh, ooh, I don't know what I'll do with this one, actually. I may just frame this one, to be honest. Or I may go in and just cover something... Just use something just to cover these... Some more of these bits here. I feel like maybe this bit here needs a bit more detail. But pretty pleased with that pull. Definitely need to get myself some more multifarious card. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just really quickly show you, um, I quite like that one, that's very, it's pretty cool and arty isn't it, let's go for that one, I like the pose with his hands, well his arms, yeah, right let's go for it. Okay, there we go, I'm going for it. Starting to rip a bit there, so what I'm going to do is pull it from this end. Starting to rip a bit there as well, oh dear. It's alright, managed to pick it up. Sometimes it will, and it will be kind of a nice look anyway. You know, you don't... Grungy is a good look, isn't it? But there we go, yeah. And there's the finished piece. So quite a simple pull, but very effective. On the right there, we've got the more complex one, which we embellished on the plate and then pulled. So I do hope you've enjoyed both of these takes on image transfer. If you have, please give the video a like and do consider subscribing to the channel. Top left there is my profile picture. If you click that and the bell and all notifications, that'll let you know whenever I've got a new video coming out. And bottom left there is another tutorial that I think you might be interested in. So have a great week crafting, guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.